What's up everybody, this is DDS and in today's video I will be going over the Logic Pro X Step Sequencer. If you guys aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, there has been a new update with Logic Pro X. It's Logic Pro X or Logic Pro 10.5, whatever you want to call it. Um, this update included a lot of new features and one of them is the drum sequencer or step sequencer. I don't know why I said drum, but I use it for my drums. It's pretty dope. I played around with it last night. I want to give a shout out to I'm a Music Mogul on YouTube if you guys haven't checked out his channel if you're using Logic he has some great Logic tutorials I watched his video he gave me some information on my comments on Instagram that was very helpful because <laughs> I never used the drum stuff inside of Logic so it came in handy trying to figure out how to get things to work so I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys the way I use the step sequencer it's pretty dope that was one of my favorite um, features of FL was the step sequencer that was one thing i missed about fl when i started using machine and now that logic has it i'm super excited i actually like it better than the fl one if i'm being 100 percent honest with you and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that so i started off this video not this video started off this beat with just a simple melody that i made i um actually started doing this video before but this is like my third time recording it so that's why i already had a melody so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put my headphones on let you guys just hear the melody real quick and i'm gonna pause it load the um drum designer and all that stuff up and then just go start yeah go from there excuse me put my headphones on And I don't know why it loaded up arcade first, but I'm just gonna go over here. Drum kit, electronic drum kit, uh, empty. That's what I need. Okay, so as you see, I have an empty drum kit open. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the drum kit I wanna import. So I need to go over to music and then go to kits for logic. And then I'm just gonna pull up one of these. I'll just use this one. You can highlight everything, just drop it over here. Doesn't really matter where it goes, I believe. And uh, it's getting imported by the quick sampler. And then I'm going to go to my um, rim and change that because it does have some extra noises on it. At least I thought I imported it. I might not have imported it. It might be the wrong kit. Okay, it looks like I don't have it, so it's not that big of a deal anyway. So I'm opening up the step sequencer right here. And I'm just going to delete. Oh, I don't even need to delete everything. Like everything is already here. I don't know what that is. Okay, so everything is already loaded up and ready to go. Yesterday I had to, um, for whatever reason, I had to load it up a different way. So this all works good. I wanna move some of my drums around because I like to have them arranged a certain way. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this up here. Move this up here. Uh, open hi-hat here. And then put this there. Okay, this should be fine. All right. So, like I said, this is kind of similar to FL. Once you load this up and go into the step sequencer, you'll have like a pattern right here. You want to drag this over just so that way it starts right there. I am going to loop it so that way it doesn't necessarily have to, um, it'll drop out if I don't loop it. I can change this to 32, 24, all that wonderful steps. I might do 32 though. Have to see. I might see what I can do with 32 steps. But anyway, I'm about to make the first pattern real quick and then I'll show you guys some of the features and how I go about making other patterns and things of that nature with it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, that was simple. I'm gonna go right here change my velocity like right here even if you don't want to do velocity you click here there's so many other things you could do but i'm gonna mess with velocity real quick and i'm just gonna turn these up all the way to 127 and then hear it now go back here all right and what i want to do is i want to go ahead and just drop these in i wonder if they have something where i could just uh, do like you do in FL, but I don't see it right now. Maybe somebody else knows, but 
Just gonna drop these in like this. Skip every single one. I don't know why I messed up right there. I feel like I messed up somewhere I did. That's why I look crazy like that. Delete those. All right, and that sounds like this. Nothing too crazy yet. I'm gonna go ahead and change the velocity on these. I kind of humanized my hi-hats and um, machine. So this is definitely cool to have, and it's real simple. I'm just holding the mouse down, dragging across, so now it's gonna have like some type of bounce to it, make it feel more realistic, not stuck at one velocity. I like how that sounds, so I'm just gonna highlight these two. There may be a better way to do it, but I'm not necessarily a Logic Pro user just yet to where I know where everything is. So this time I'm just gonna do it, hit Command R, copy that over, drag my loop over here, and I'm gonna work on building another pattern. So that way, just a little variation. Probably just leave that like that actually no I'm gonna do some uh, hi-hat rolls with this so an easy way to do hi-hat rolls is right here it says no repeat it's dope you start at the bottom so like if I click right here and the higher I go up the more it's gonna roll so I don't know where I'm gonna start it let me see maybe six let's see what that sound like I don't even hear it let me turn this off real quick just so I can hear it That's an easy way to just add variation to it. And I think that's dope, add little rolls there. I wonder if there's a way that you can do it where it goes up and down. I know it said pitch. Let me go to pitch real quick just to see if it changes anything or nope. Thought it could change pitch, but let me just see. I haven't tested that out yet. Whatever I did right there, I just messed up some stuff. But um just wanna see what happens. Oh, it's playing the different drums. Okay, so that's not gonna work the way I thought it was. But that'll come in handy. You can use this for keys too, but I'm gonna look more into that. This is my first uh full day using it, so give me some slack guys. Alright, so now I'm about to go ahead and make another pattern using this. Go ahead and uh move this over. Let's play it and add some more stuff to it.
another dope feature about this is like um, when I use machine, I don't mix my drums before I export them. I just export them and uh, drop them in Logic and go ahead and mix from there. While I'm doing this, it's easy for me to just go like this and mix them all right here. You go to the mixer, they all have their own channels and stuff, so that's very dope. So I just wanted to do a short video on this. Like, I love this. I may actually finish the beat real quick or just maybe just drop some bass in it or something, give it that feeling. And then I actually still need to learn how to do the live loops. Haven't really did too much with that yet, but the step sequencer is so fire to me that I'm gonna keep on using that over and over again. And for me, like you guys know, I use machine. I use machine heavy, use machine every day. And I kind of go back to the same similar patterns. So this is cool to me because I feel like I'll do some stuff that's out of the box because I'm just going to try different patterns and different variations of things. And even beyond that, this actually comes with a few different patterns that you could check out. Let me go back over here to the step sequencer. I don't know why I did that. Close this out. Pull this up. Step sequencer. And when you pull this up right here, it has different patterns for different things. I'm not going to pull them up, but clearly, as you see, it's different stuff here that you can test out on your own and just try and get it, mess around with it, have fun. That's what it's really all about. And then right here is how it just goes back and forth to the different steps because I opened all this up. So once I get rid of that, it's good to go. And uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to add a quick little bass to this or something. And then I'm done with the beat. So if you guys um, stick around for that and then... That we <laughs> that sounds crazy, but appreciate all y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you guys excited about the new step sequencer? I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts. And also, I'm going to go ahead and um, do something with the live loops. I'm going to have to spend some time with that. I got to watch some videos. And sorry, I look rough right now, man. I ain't had a haircut in about two months. So I'm looking crazy right now. But uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, give me some more ideas of Logic videos you guys would enjoy to watch. Because I'm using Logic Heavy. And if you guys are interested in hearing some of these beats that may show up on my other channel because I put in my complete beats on my DDS Beats channel. If you guys have not subscribed to that, please do. I'll put a link in the description. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Take care. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.